Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about parvovirus B19 infection. Fifth disease is a mild illness caused by parvovirus B19. Parvovirus is a DNA virus with single-stranded DNA genome. It is a member of family of parvoviridae, which are the smallest and simplest DNA viruses. Parvovirus replicates spontaneously only in the dividing cells in the S phase of mitosis. It replicates in inhibits the colony formation and causes lysis of human erythroid progenitor cells. B19 is the only known pathogenic parvoviridae in the humans that is transmitted by respiratory droplets. The incubation period is 4 to 14 days. Rash doesn't occur until 17 to 18 days after infection and about 5 days after the disappearance of virus from the serum and respiratory droplets. Therefore, patients presenting with the clinical features of infection are usually no longer infectious. Vertical transmission rate is about 30% and infection is not an indication of therapeutic termination of the pregnancy and fetal death occurs in 5-10% to of infected fetuses. The transmissibility is 50-90% to among the susceptible household contacts, 20-30% to susceptible staff in the schools during outbreaks are affected. Cellular uptake and infection by parvovirus involves rapid dynamin regulated clethrin mediated endocytosis followed by slower intracellular trafficking. This virus has a predilection for rapidly dividing cells. It causes transient aplastic crisis in the sickle cell disease. It also causes hereditary anemias including spherocytosis, thalassemia, pyruvate kinase deficiency and autoimmune hemolytic anemias. Chronic anemia may occur in immune compromised individuals. Which group is at increased risk of infection? That is the one who is in daily contact with the children either at school or in home. Parvovirus B19 infects only humans. Virus passes via placenta to fetus and it passes through respiratory secretions, coughing or sneezes or through the blood products or the blood. In the placenta villi, erythroblasts show eosinophilic nuclear inclusions. The immune stains show nuclear reactivity. In the lung tissue, eosinophilic intranuclear inclusions in the erythroblasts are seen. Parvovirus B19 infection during pregnancy is mostly asymptomatic, but in approximately 3% of infected women, it may cause range of complications including abortions in 9% of the cases, severe anemia, non-immune hemolyt hydroxyphetalis in 10 to 20% of the cases, and even fetal device. Fetal reticulocytosis occurs in more than 20% of the cases, and it is a good prognostic sign and indicate that fetal hemoglobin has probably reached its nether and spontaneous recovery is likely to occur. Annual seroconversion rate among susceptible primary school employee is 5.2% compared with the 2.4% in the hospital staff. 1% of the susceptible adults are infected each year. Fifth disease is also called erythema infectiosis in which there is a rash secondary to immune complex deposition. The clinical diagnosis is usually unreliable. For its diagnosis, there must be specific IgM or seroconversion in the paired sera. Investigation is indicated in the preg pregnant woman with a rash or arthralgia, when there is maternal exposure to known or suspected infection, when the investigation is done for the non-immune herops or for the intrauterine death. How to approach a pregnant woman with a parvovirus? First, take appropriate history regarding the timing of the exposure and the onset of the symptom. Rubella infection is a differential diagnosis. Parvovirus B19 IgM is detectable three days after the onset of the symptom and may persist for up to six months in, the, in some women. If IgM is negative at first test, it should be repeated two to three weeks later depending upon the timing of the exposure. Parvovirus B19 IgG is detectable by the seventh day of the illness and persists for the life. It conveys the lasting immunity to the infection. Elevated serum alpha fetoprotein may be a marker of fetal parvovirus B19 infection. How to investigate a fetus with a parvovirus? Fetal infections may occur over 8 weeks after maternal infection when maternal IgM may be undetectable. Investigation is required only if maternal infection is confirmed or when investigating the non-immune herops. We need to do the serial ultrasound scans for the early detection of herops. Follow-up scans for up to 12 weeks after confirmed maternal infection. If non-immune herops, 
fetal parvovirus B19, IgM and DNA by PCR are required. For the treatment of parvovirus B19, first of all, we treat the maternal symptoms and if the fetus develops high drops, we refer the mother to the tertiary care and deliver the fetus if the gestational age permits. Fetal blood sampling with a conservative management. So thank you so much. That was all about parvovirus B19 infection. Subscribe on Ops and Gyne. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.